Hey guys, in this video, I'm just demonstrating how we can use socialstream.ninja to capture chat from Zoom. Social Stream Ninja is a browser extension that works with several uh, live streaming applications like Twitch, YouTube, etc. Uh, to capture chat messages, get, put it into a dashboard that you can either publish into OBS or use as a control interface. And then you can also enable featured chat, which is all like a, a highlighted selected overlay. Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm just going to go through how to install it, how to, how to set it up and give you a quick uh, demo. So we can download a uh, plugin from socialstream.ninja. It takes you to the GitHub page. The code is open source. So you can download it, customize it as needed. Um, where we download this code, download from GitHub. Uh, you then extract the zip folder and we can then go to extensions. We enable developer mode in the top here, top right. And once we have enabled that, it will unlock load unpacked. Uh, we can then select the social stream uh, folder, open it, and it will appear as an item. So it's installed. Now in the top right, it may not appear. It might uh, be hidden. So we, we will have to uh, click this little puzzle icon and just make sure we pin social stream. Uh, it's labeled as consolidated social streaming for YouTube. And we just need to make sure that we can pin it so that we can get the button. Uh, at that point, we can go to Zoom. So I'm signed into Zoom. I'm going to enable the plugin. Uh, if you don't have the plugin enabled, the press and so it's green, the little switch turns green. That tells it that it's going to start capturing data and sending it uh, to our dock. If you don't have it enabled, you can just disable it. It stops sending data. So if you want privacy, um, yeah, this is a way to help ensure that you're, you're getting it. Okay. Um, so we enable it and now we have these two links. Uh, we can just open both of them. Uh, one of them is a doc and one of them is a index file. Index file is the overlay, uh, featured chat overlay. And the dock is more of the uh, stream that you can use as an overlay or as a control interface. Now in Zoom, uh, we're just going to host a meeting to demo this without video. The trick here is we need to uh, keep Zoom in the web. So we're going to hit cancel, right? We, and if we have Zoom installed already, we can uninstall it. Um, if, you, if you can't do this, you can just uninstall Zoom. Uh, we're going to hit launch meeting again, and we're going to hit cancel again. The second time we click launch and cancel, it creates uh, a new button called join with your browser, right? Uh, so we can click that. So now we join the call and we're pretty much good to start. So we can see here that everything is blank. Uh, there's nothing in the in the dashboard yet. We're going to click on the chat and we're just going to say hello. And we go here and we see hello. Okay, if I uh, do another message, one, two, three, four, five, uh, we see that the messages show up here. Now, if I click on any of these messages and I go to the overlay, uh, it appears. Now you can customize the icon um, that you want to show here. We can also go uh, and customize things. Uh, compact mode, hide, hide source icon, da 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 da. da. Um, 
show source icon, hide chat overlay, da -da -da -da. and then we can just refresh this. Close it actually. Once we have these changes, uh, the link has been updated, we can open it again. And now when we select a new message, we see that we have a source icon, we have me hello, things like that. Um, and you can further customize it. Uh, if there's things you want added or things you want removed, uh, you have a couple options. One is you can just message me. Uh, the other option is uh, you can edit uh, the index file and load a local copy of the index file. Uh, that, that's from people who are more comfortable necessarily with coding. Uh, but if you do that, you can fully customize the overlay. The source code is uh, pretty easy to modify. All the style sheets right at the top. And you can uh, modify anything else you want. It's just vanilla JavaScript. So there's no framework. There's no jQuery. It's just very basic um, coding. So anyone should be able to edit it if they have just basic coding capabilities. Um, if you make a change here, you'll notice that the link here updates. And some of them apply to the doc. Uh, yeah. Um, we have it set to auto high for 20 seconds. And there's other things we can do. We can say, um, tell a joke. So let's go back to the Zoom call and say joke. And the plugin automatically responds with a joke. Knock, knock, who's there? Cows go, cows go who? No, cows go moo. Um, Right, so you can also trigger a joke just by pressing a button. And there's also options like with auto high, things like that. Um, so if someone says hi, it will auto respond. It will not respond to yourself and it will not respond uh, more often than once every 60 seconds to prevent spamming. But it's, it's a sample of what you can do. If you are comfortable coding, you can create your own actions. Um, that, that could be for another video. Okay. Uh, well, I hope that covers the basics. Um, if you don't need the dock and don't need the dashboard, uh, you can check out another plugin I have called the Chat Overlay Ninja extension. And it allows you to interact with the messages directly in Zoom. And it will then only support featured chat. It will not have this intermediary uh, dashboard. Uh, if you do want this dashboard in OBS, um, or if you want to add these overlays to OBS, you can go uh, add a browser source. You paste the link in. You set a nice height. We have this, put it somewhere like here. And so on the screen, we should see um, uh, so you can see on the screen how uh, there's messages in the on the here now. So there's messages here. It's locked. Okay. Anyways, uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, and there's lots of ways you can stylize that. So you can make it more compact. You can do other things. And if you have other feature requests, you can drop those into Discord at uh, discord.video.ninja. You can contact me there. Um, and if you want to do the feature chat, the way that would work is you take the other link, the index link, you do the same concept browser, 
um, paste the link in, set a width and height uh, for the for the featured chat 1920 by let's say uh, 220 could be a good height. And let's go here and select a message. Cows go moo. And you see that we have a pop-up. If you want to use the dock, you could set maybe 900 by 900 uh, a square. And that might work better than something vertical. You can also add the dock uh, directly to OBS. So we go to dock, browser, uh, social stream, whatever. Put the link in here, apply, we get this dock, and now we can pin it to uh, our OBS. And so when someone in Zoom says something, uh, you are alerted within, within OBS of those messages. And then you can interact and do whatever you need. Uh, you can clear the message manually. You can pause chat. Uh, you can search for, for words, right? Uh, you can hide emojis, uh, emoji only messages. And you can also do things like send messages back to people. So hello chat. Uh, and you'll see that it sends the message back into the Zoom call. So you can be talking and, and streaming to your Zoom meeting all through OBS and not actually through Zoom. You can just leave Zoom as a background tab in Chrome. You probably want to keep uh, things uh, in focus in the background so they get um, some sort of priority from the CPU. If you minimize them, uh, in, if you minimize them as a, a tab into your computer, minimizing it might lower the priority so it might not update as quick so just uh, be aware of that um, social stream is using peer-to-peer uh, -to, -peer to send data so the data doesn't go to the internet and back to your computer it goes directly from tab to obs on the line uh, the other extension i have chat overlay ninja does go through a, a server and to you so you have two different approaches on how you want to handle that. Um, in either case, you don't really need to have a password to sign in or anything like this to work. Everything is uh, through the browser. Now, sites that are supported uh, go beyond just Zoom. Um, I'll, I'll be adding more and supporting more over time. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this video is by request, so hopefully it was helpful. Bye, guys.